Hi everyone, and welcome to my indie review vlog, the show that gives you spoiler-free reviews of indie films. My name is Asaf Angel from my indie productions, and today I'm going to be reviewing 2017's horror, Torment, directed by Italian indie filmmaker and actor Adam Ford, and produced by Domiziano Cristofaro. Thank you, Adam, for sharing your work with our show. Torment revolves around the inner world of notorious serial killer and rapist John Wayne Gacy, also known as the Killer Clown. John Gacy was born on March 17, 1942, and died by execution on May 10, 1994, after spending 14 years on death row. He was convicted for sexually assaulting, torturing, and murdering at least 33 teenage boys and young men between 1972 and 1978. Even though the film gives its own free interpretation, it holds nothing back and gives a disturbingly filterless depiction of Gacy's insane torture world. The story focuses on Jeffrey, portrayed by Ricky Fiore, a young unsuspecting man who is unfortunate enough to get caught in Gacy's web. The killer clown commences to torture and sexually assault Jeffrey. Actor Matteo Deliberato, who plays Gacy, gives us a brute and vicious character. Which is interesting, because as easy as it may be to imagine the killer clown behave in that manner, no known footage of Gacy would ever hint by his appearance or demeanor that he was capable of doing what he did. That means the Liberato had to interpret his behavior from scratch. As for actor Ricky Fiore and also Marco Pielic, who plays another victim of Gacy's, Normally, I would say it feels like these actors went through a lot to have their performances serve the story. This time, I don't have to speculate. It's a fact that they went through a great deal to serve the story. You can clearly see it in the film. Adam Ford did not compromise, and it shows. He left as little room for the imagination as possible. Another element that I found interesting, uh, the atrocities that Jeffrey experiences are so traumatic that they penetrate his subconscious, so he's horrified even when he's passed out. Ford manages to give us an inside look into the actions of a madman, but also into the mind of his victim. There's also a nod or acknowledgement towards what took place in Gacy's actual execution, but I'm not going to say more for fear of spoiling. It feels Torment was made with an extremely low budget, yet great vision. The makeup and special effects were excellent, and production value was decent. To sum up, even though it sometimes seems like the film is led by its extreme visuals, it is still a great achievement that fearlessly tackles the story in a way most haven't seen yet on screen. Torment gets a 7.5 out of 10 on the Look at Me, I'm a Film Critic scale. In case it wasn't clear up to now, uh, this film is not for the faint of heart, uh, so viewer discretion is advised. Torment will soon be released to DVD and to VOD, so keep an eye out for updates. Until next time, keep supporting indie film. My name is Asaf Angel. I thank you for tuning in to my indie review vlog.